Four is almost out in theaters for some stupid reason. I don't know why they're doing a fourth one. Because Harrison Ford is almost like a grandpa now. Oh, but, but seriously, anyway. Hey, Wrath. Now it's going to be... Oh! What is this? The sliding contest? Or do you guys think the ring is a playground? Um, get serious. But anyway. Hey, Wrath. Anyway, Wrath now with a backbreaker and he just drops Big Mike like Kobe Bryant did and in that last game of the playoffs against the Jazz. Has, did anybody see that, by the way? Hey, now I think the Jazz actually have a decent shot uh, of moving on in the playoffs because as the Lakers lost the Lakers lost their one player, hey, or Kobe. Hey, and the only reason the Lakers did so well this far or is because Rope Kobe's break. a bog. Uh, either that or it's just because... As a lot of people think there's some conspiracy that the NBA wants it. Whoa! As Big Mike just chucked Wrath outside of the ring. Look at that power. A lot of people think the NBA wants it to be the Lakers and the Celtics in the finals because, uh, as because of the history. In other words, ratings, people. <laughs> ratings. That's what it sounds like. Hey, but you know, why can't, why can't we just have people who play the damn game? Hey, that's why I'm not much of a sports buff. Uh, that's why I prefer, er, that's why I prefer to stay in the ring. And, oh, Wrath, with a crucifix power bomb, he just crushed Big Mike with that. Uh, what was he doing trying to pick him up and Big Mike just DDTs him? Hey, man, Big Mike. Hey, get, get, ah, oh! Drops the elbow on him. Wait a minute, Big Mike's going up there again? Oh my god, look out! Oh, oh my! Hey, oh! What a freaking splash! Forget about it! This one is over! There's your three count! Oh. Raph, you should have pinned him when you had the chance. And Big Mike just crushes him like a. Crushes him like, like something. Like, I don't really know, and I don't care. Big Mike wins the match and goes on to the Royal Showdown. Now, an impressive victory by this big man. Well, we got more action coming up. Up next. Stay with us. Okay, let's take another break from the Royal Showdown qualifiers for a second. Because we've got another title match. Here comes Danzig, the former hardcore champion. And I want to talk about that in a second. Yeah, but yeah, Danzig's coming out here. Last week on Overdrive, a, a Danzig took on Ashley Dunn in a qualifying match. Ashley Dunn got the win over it. Over Danzig, I'm trying to say. Hey, and Danzig, hey, I guess he wasn't happy with the fact that his match wasn't under Danzig's rules. Oh, so he's got a match right now for the North American Championship. And, for, and of course, it's going to be under Danzig's rules. So this would most likely favor the former hardcore champion. But yeah, let me talk about the hardcore title for a second. As we all saw in Aftershock, Rob Darby, who had not signed with any brand, and came in and won the hardcore title anyway, in his first match. And well, that happened at Vendetta, but what I'm trying to say is basically, the babes in business gave Rob Darby an ultimatum. Them, are you going to Aftershock or going to Overdrive? And his option Jim was C, none of the above. Oh, I'm starting my own brand and I'm taking the hardcore championship with me. And I'm changing the rules of it. I don't know what he means by that. And, but here comes Ashley Dunn, the whole fucking show, the North American champion. And he's a well deserved North American champion. I'll tell you what, 
Uh, Ashley Dunn is pure proof, proof that BYU is the breeding ground for new stars. You got Ashley Dunn, you got Danzig, you got David the Ghetto Kid, you got Donovan Griffin, and over on Aftershock, you got, uh, you got Danny Legend, you got Steve Farrell, the Nature Boy, Shadow MC, Chris Cryptic, Hell, back here, you even got the new Welsh Order, Cadaverous. I mean, regardless of my opinions of some of these guys, hey, a lot of these guys are the future of this business. Referee was just holding up the belt there. I'm about to get this thing going. And it's on! Stiff shots being thrown by Ashley Dunn, and he just sent Danzig to the outside. And, and oh, look out! Oh my God! What a springboard moonsault! Ashley Dunn, it's just—you uh, talk about a risk taker. As Danzig just DDTs him though, and you see that chair right there. He's got it. This isn't Danzig's rule. Oh! What a shot by Danzig! Now Danzig got the chair again, and then, oh, that's like a Van Daminator right there, and right in the face, and ah, oh! of course Danzig, he feels much more comfortable in these matches, he's so comfortable in them, and they, that he has to have it in his contract that all his matches have to be Danzig's rules. And you know, and wait a minute though. Oh, oh! Uh, elbow drop! But you know, I used to rip on Danzig and always said he could never do a wrestling move. Ooh, but, but all of a sudden, and he's been showing a lot of amazing athletic ability as of late. But actually done right now. Ow! Oh! He just chaired him. Uh. Big kick right there by Dunn. And I'm still thinking about that main event on Aftershock. Uh, Hoovy and MT Wald in a non-title match as Ashley Dunn has the stairs. And he's going to bring those big MFers into the ring, those stairs. There's that. Oh! Just takes him down. But yeah, of course, MT Wald in that match. He got the pin on Hoovy in what could be considered an upset, and now he has a title match at the Royal Showdown. And Ashley Dunn here, er, he's just holding Danzig up and suplexes him. But yeah, I mean, and that's that was a sign that Hoovy was having a bad week, and Danzig was having a bad moment there because he just got crushed by the steel stairs. Now Ashley Dunn gets him back on his feet, but Danzig turning this thing into a bar fight. DDT by Danzig. <laughs> and Danzig's gonna bring him up and suplex Ashley Dunn. Danzig now. Oh, what a shot. And Ashley Dunn is on the outside. And missed with that sledgehammer strike. Ashley Dunn punches and knocks it out of him. Nice move there. Oh! Oh! What are you doing, Ashley Dunn? Working in the steel mill? Ah! Oh, Danzig. That's taking a bullet left and right with that sledgehammer, but Danzig with a DDT. He's gonna do whatever he can just to survive right here. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Oh! Oh, what a shot by Danzig. And oh god, no. Oh, that's Danzig's specialty right there. That barbed wire wrapped two by four. He's gonna shred Ashley Dunn's face like cottage cheese here! Oh god! Man, 
as much of a high risk daredevil as Ashley Dunn is. I don't think he was ready for this. As ah, oh, dancing, just bringing out the heavy artillery. He, and he's oh come on, he's gonna tear him right up with that barbed wire and get him. Oh, oh man, this is blatant. And Danzig right here, here, he's just, he's just doing whatever he can, and oh, the sends Ashley Dunn into the, into the crowd, and you can see the blood pouring down his face. And then this thing is spilled into the stands. 